Hey, so what I've been seeing lately is a lot of testers today juggle multiple tools across their workflows, but AI agents and IDEs can't access them in one secure, unified way. LLMs can suggest code fixes and set up guidelines, but can't automatically execute those steps for the user. And that's where MCB Service step in and help unify your whole workflow. And that's why I'm really excited to see BrowserStack's new MCP server that actually lets you test with BrowserStack's tools right with inside your IDE. So this is gonna allow you to connect all the AI tools you probably use like Claude or Cursor, and then let them generate test cases, securely trigger tests, fetch results, and debug using BrowserStack's test platform. And as you probably know from my previous videos, BrowserStack already spans the testing lifecycle and MCP simply brings it all where you wanna work. Sounds cool, right? So let's dive into some of its use cases and understand how this all works. Let's check it out. So check this out. You can now unlock the full power of BrowserStack's test management and perform your entire manual testing workflows directly within your favorite IDE. Let's say I'm working on a new project, bstack.demo.com, and I wanna set it up in test management. I'll ask Copilot for help. This project has two main workflows, sign in and favorites. Let's also have Copilot generate some relevant test cases for both. Since my Copilot is powered by the BrowserStack MCP server, it's already created a new project and the necessary folder structures inside test management. Now it's generating the relevant test cases and organizing them neatly into their respective folders. The project is now fully set up with detailed test cases including all necessary steps and information ready to go. Now let's say I made some changes to the favorites flow and I want to manually test it using those test cases. With the help of the MCP server, Copilot automatically selects only the relevant test cases and kicks off a manual test run in test management for the favorites workflow. All right, so let me ask to run these tests, let's say on a Windows 11 machine. Since this is a web app, it smartly suggests to utilize a live session on BrowserStack for testing. Now, it's smartly launched BrowserStack Live session for my project. I could test the entire workflow. All right, as you can see, I've tested the first and second cases and they're working really well. Copilot is now updating the test results and test management in real time for each test case. All right, so let's finish the final test case. And we're done. Everything looks awesome. So I'll notify Copilot and it'll wrap up the test run, also updating the results and marking it as completed. You can even use it to help set up and debug your test cases on live dashboard. So let's say I have an Android application, which seems to crash only on Google Pixel devices. Let me take help from Claude on this. Since I have the BrowserStack MCP server ins installed on Claude, it is asking me which device in particular I wanna test the app on. I think the latest version of Android with Pixel should be okay for testing. Okay, it's asking me to provide the path to the APK. Now, BrowserStack's MCP server will upload and install the app on one of our devices. Obviously, this section is sped up in the interest of time. All right, cool. Now the device is ready and I can use the calculator app on it, just like I would on a personal phone. Over here, we can see the stack trace to debug further. And I think it's a really cool function, our new capabilities in the browser stack MCP server. It's their AI powered debugging and auto fix for automation tests right inside your IDE. No more painful log digging, no more hours spent figuring out what went wrong and fixing broken scripts. So let's see it in action. So I've just run my app automate test suite on BrowserStack 
And unfortunately, it failed. Let's take a closer look. Here on the dashboard, you can see a failed test case. Normally, I would need to look through all the logs, screenshots, and stack traces just to understand what the issue was. But not anymore. Let's jump back to IDE and ask Copilot for help. I will input a prompt that my app automate tests have failed and ask for help debugging. Since my Copilot is powered by Browser Stack MCP, it instantly understands that to debug effectively, it needs the session details. So let's give it the build ID and the session ID of the failed test. Now the MCP server is fetching all the relevant logs, stack traces, and screenshots from browser stack. In the background, it's analyzing and trying to understand the root cause for the failure. And just like that, Copilot has identified the issue wicked fast. Looks like the culprit was an incorrect locator in my test script. Even better, Copilot has already made the required code changes and fixed the test case. Let's go ahead and accept the suggested fix. Now we'll run the updated tests right from the IDE. All right, so behind the scenes, it's launching a new app automate session on browser stack with the updated test. Let's switch back to the dashboard. The build is running again. This time the test passes and the build is successful. And just like that, what used to take hours is now done in seconds. So a browser stack MCP server plus your AI agent debugging failed automated tests is now faster, smarter, and fully automated with almost no effort. So still not convinced? Well, let's see another use case, this time in Cursor, which I use all the time. Over here, I have a Playwright test suite written in Node for a website hosted locally on my machine. Now, since I'm on a MacBook, I'm not sure if the test will pass on Windows. So let's ask Cursor to run the test on the browser stack infra instead. Let me allow it to run the required MCP tools for this. Cursor is now going through the code base to understand which testing frameworks and libraries are being used and then communicates with the MCP server to provision the required browser stack SDK in this project. All right, and as you can see, Cursor has now correctly updated the package JSON file, installed the SDK, and also added a convenient entry point to execute the test on browser stack. So let's go to our terminal and run the test. Now behind the scenes, we are provisioning the required infrastructure and executing the test. You can see the different workers being spawned to run the test. After test execution, the SDK provides a link to our test observability dashboard which allows you to see the test execution details and also compare the tests with any previous runs. Now, if your test fails in the future due to any reason, just ask Cursor to fix it. Behind the scenes, it will use our test observability insights to get the latest run details and stack traces of any failed test. This information can then be utilized by Cursor to then fix our test suite. In this case, there was a configuration issue in the browser stack YAML file. All right, as you can see, there's a lot of power in MCP server, and I really like where browser stack is going with this. You can achieve a lot via their MCP server. And I'm really excited for you to try it for yourself. Give it a shot and let me know your thoughts using that special link down below. And even better, it's open source and available on GitHub right now. So there's no reason for you not to check it out using that link down below. All right, so that's it. I'm Joe, and as always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers.